All right, let's create a Bipio workflow to receive our data from the SAM D21 and give us a data visualization. This takes about two to three minutes. So first thing, head on over to shipiot.net and you can create a free account or log in. And once you land at your dashboard, the first thing we do is click on create a BIP. Select event source. We're going to use incoming webhook. That's here. Now you'll see up at the top you have the host name and the path slash bip slash http and then you'll have to give it a name. So we'll do samd21 example. All right, we need to add a function. We'll do view chart for our simple visualization. And we just click and drag from the input to the output here. Go to the parser tab this is where we type in a sample JSON payload and it will automatically parse it into a JSON schema that we'll use to interpret and decorate our data coming in from the webhook. So we have coming from our code temp, which is a number, and light, which is also a number. Click parse, creates our schema. Great. So go back to setup, double click your data visualization, and we're going to come down here to the X axis, attributes, the X axis will be invoke time, so we get a time series chart. The Y axis, number one, is going to be temp, and these are populated from our JSON schema, as it knows it's coming from the webhook, very handy. Select light for the Y2 axis. So we'll add our names, temp, and light. And that sets up our chart. Click OK. The last piece you'll need here is under the auth tab, you'll want to select use my API token. And this HTTP request header, you need to put this in the main.h file. This is your access token for the service. That's where you also configure the host name and the path. And when you're done, you click Save. Then you can open up your chart, double clicking it, hit Chart, select the URL, open it, and there you are.